What is up, everybody? How's it going? And welcome back. So, I got these two radios right here from Tid Radio in the mail. Uh, I didn't order these. Uh, Tid Radio sent these. Uh, uh, the box said Tid Radio H8. Uh, or, uh, not H8. Tid Radio H3. Um, Two-pack. They were sent to me. It said uh, Tid Radio Direct. Um, and it had a little Amazon slip. That looks like an Amazon slip to me. But, um... TDH3 ham radio two pack. Um, I did not pay for them, but um, it came with two batteries, two radios, two antennas, two lanyards, two belt clips. Came with two charge docks, is what they're sitting in right now. And it came with two um, wall warts and two USB A to USB C cables. And then two of these little uh, cheapy style. K1 style mic and earpieces, uh, and then it came with two um, airband antennas. So these antennas say 120 to 300 megahertz, and why it won't focus, I don't know. 120 to 300 megahertz, they're a TD771, so they're like a, a Nagoya style antenna, uh, but these are for airband. Um, I want to show you guys that. You can change these to GMRS, ham, or unlocked mode. So you push the, uh, the large PTT button at the top, and then you push the star button right here. Turn the radio on, and it will give you ham as one, two is GMRS, and three is normal. Three would be unlocked mode. So if you push three, it will say data will be erased, confirm, initialize, unlock system. Then you click the blue BT uh, Bluetooth button to confirm that. And now this radio is unlocked. Uh, so if I go to like 46277 seven, and I push the PTT, it transmits. And then if I changed uh, the hashtag is the AB button, so band B, if I go to one four six zero 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 and i push the lower button because this has dual ptt buttons it transmits there you go um what's nice about these charging docks is no different than the green one right there which is the td h8 uh, that has bluetooth as well is the that radio's charge dock is just like this one this one's just smaller has a USB-C cable. I did program that H3 right there on the computer with the just the USB-A to USB-C cable because these radios do have, you can program through the, the K1 connector on the side. This USB-C port right here is also a programming port. Um, and then these batteries have a USB-C at the bottom to charge the battery. So. Uh, you can program these radios through the K1 connector, the USB-C connector, and you can also connect it to the Bluetooth, turn the Bluetooth on, and program it through the app. Um, and then this radio, you can charge the battery three ways. You can charge it um, on the radio, have it attached to the radio, and then mount it on the dock. You can charge the battery without the radio. You can actually just... You can actually just mount the battery in the dock and charge the battery directly from the dock. So that would be option two. So you can charge like that. You can charge the battery through the dock by itself. Or you can charge the battery just by plugging it in, leaving it on a table and charge or a, you know, a seat or whatever if you're driving. Um, and just charge it through the battery without it attached to anything. Um, you can also charge the battery directly off this plug. So you can plug this into the wall, plug this cable into the A port, and then USB to the battery. Or you can plug this cable in to a USB-C port or a USB-A port on a laptop um, or a USB port in your vehicle and then just charge the battery that way. as well as you can also
bring this over here. You can also charge this battery. USB-C. This cable right here is USB-C to USB-C. It will charge. So you can also do that as well. Um, these radios do have a lot of settings. Um, and I will do a separate video showing you guys how to program uh, PTT ID on, um, on these radios. If you have a, a repeater that requires a PTT ID setup. So this one I've already programmed. So the BT is the menu button and the orange VM, the mode button is the back button. Uh, so you bandwidth is uh, zero, setting zero. Then you have one is squelch, transmit power is two, power save is three, step um, is four, how many steps it takes when you um, decide to uh, scan. Uh, backlights five, six is beep, seven is vox level, uh, timeout timer is eight, nine is D weight, um, 10 is receive DCS, 11 is receive CTCSS, 12 is T transmit DCS, 13 is transmit CTCSS, voice is 14, 15 is transmit uh, SEL main, 16 is scan add, 17 is scan mode, which I have it in CO mode where it scans. And then it, um, it hears a frequency, it listens to that, and then when that, that uh, conversation ends, it automatically starts back up scanning. Uh, 18 is FMDW, uh, 19 is MDFA for channel name, uh, 20 is MDFB for, uh, I have it set to frequency, 21 is busy lock, 22 is auto lock, 23 is direction, offsets 24, 25 is memory, uh, 26 is delete memory, 27 is alarm mode on site, uh, 28 is seek CTCSS, which is basically scanning for what you're listening to, uh, 29 is seek DCS, tail um, is 30, uh, roger is 31, roger beep, uh, 32 is R tone, 33 is language, 34 is hop hopping RX, 35 is reset VFO mode, um, or you know, you can change the modes. 36 is sync, um, which would be for the Bluetooth. 37 is PTT ID, uh, which is uh, BOT, beginning of transmission. DTMFST is on, that's 38. 39 is ANI ID, there's nothing there. Uh, 40 is repeater STE. Uh, 41 is repeater RL, uh, which would be receive. Version is 42. 43 is the breathe LED. 44 is a uh, pawn message, which is the message that pops up when you turn the radio on, which is on icon. 45 is mic gain. 46 is scramble. 47 is decode. 48 is AM band. You can turn that on. 49 is DCD. Uh, 50 is D hold. 51 is D uh, RSP. 52 is 200 transmit, 200 megahertz frequency transmit. 53 is 350 megahertz transmit. 54 is 500 uh, megahertz transmit, um, and then you go back to zero. Um, and just to test real quick, I can exit. This is on a repeater. Dial tone. Whiskey Romeo, Whiskey Quebec, 679, test one, two, response not required. It did hit the repeater. Um, and setting 30 is that at the end. Um, so just a quick video guys. I will show you guys how to program it in another video on how to set the PTT ID setup Especially if you have a four digit PTT ID. I do hope the video helps guys um, Again, these were sent to me uh, by TID radio and um, I will see you guys in the next video I'll see if I can post some links down below if you guys want to check them out You guys have an awesome awesome rest of your day peace